NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. I intern at a radio station. Imagine interning at the White House. Yeah, that would be really cool. Get it. Something to talk about. Was that an AM radio station? It was. Back then, AM was a thing. <laughs> How much did you get paid? Do you remember? I got paid a great big zero. <laughs> oh. That's what interns get paid, generally speaking, but not at the White House anymore. Hey, uh, we are not done with the, uh, with the rain, I guess, but good things ahead. Yeah, there'll be a couple of showers tonight and tomorrow morning, but a nice weekend lined up. Very comfortable, your kind of weather. Mm. You probably missed us last night. We were talking about your dandelions. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's been not good. A, not in my yard, Okay, pal. all right. Well, I, was I just, work hard. I was just estimating based on the rain we've got. We do have some uh, <laughs> tropical news I wanted to show you. This yellow is new. It's a tropical storm watch. So a lot of Florida, South Florida included in that. Maybe you know someone down there or you um, may be going there. This is going to become probably Tropical Storm Alex, and this is the spaghetti plot somewhere between Orlando and Miami. The good news is it's not expected to be a strong storm, wind speaking, but a lot of rain, four, five, six inches. So a soaker basically Orlando points south, and that's mostly Saturday and Sunday with that storm. So the first of the Atlantic season. And uh, it is hurricane season now, so we will have those updates as we go along. This is Church Street in St. Albans. Beautiful green with all the rain we've had recently. 68 though, so a little bit cool here for early June standards. Clouds overhead, but there's some sun poking through, kind of how we thought this afternoon would go. You see a few of those showers there out over the Great Lakes. So we'll have a few downpours tonight, mostly after midnight and into tomorrow morning, but clearing for later tomorrow. So it turns into a beautiful late Friday light jacket weather, though, kind of cool, especially once the sun goes down whenever we don't have the humidity and seasonable for the weekend and almost totally dry. But there may be a few little showers that pop up, especially on Saturday. So it's 66 right now in Saranac and down the road. We've got 70s mostly along and south of Route 4, 73 in uh, Bennington right now. The lake temperature is up in the mid 50s to 55 at last check in Burlington. So here's a new run of future cast. Couple of those downpours overnight. Eight o'clock though, we're already seeing signs in the morning that the clearing is coming in. You can see the chance for some more of those bubbly showers along the New Hampshire border tomorrow afternoon. But for most of us, we are drying out tomorrow afternoon and for Saturday. There's the sunshine, mostly sunny. And if you blink, you might miss it, but one or two little showers could pop up in the afternoon, but it shouldn't be a big deal. It's certainly not severe. Might be a rumble of thunder. And then by Sunday, we've got more sunshine. So the whole time we're talking 70s. There are no 80s in the forecast. Closest we come would be Monday, at least in the next couple of days. So tonight is comfortable. A couple of spots getting a downpour or two. And then for tomorrow, it is warmer, certainly. 75 in Burlington. A little chance for a shower to linger out by the New Hampshire border, but Champlain Valley should be dry in the afternoon. 71 for Malone. And in southern spots, a little closer to 80 for Brattleboro. So there's the weekend recap. Low 70s. Average this time of year, a little higher than that. It's 74. So Slightly cool, but comfortable certainly over the weekend, 77 Monday, and then a chance for showers Tuesday, and then again later parts of next week. Stu, Alice.